Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hey what's up, my name is Tanya, and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. This video shout out goes to Adriana N. Adriana, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and becoming part of the Fawn Squad, Fawn Family, Fawn Community. It means so very much to me. I can't even begin to tell you. And you have been such a doll ever since you've been starting to comment. Oh my goodness. I am seriously on such a cloud nine, just like head in the skies. I can't even get myself composed for the videos I've been filming today. I got home at one in the morning from Shen Beauty and I'm just like <laughs> just full of energy and adrenaline and I'm in the middle of an eye tutorial and the eye tutorial I have been all over the place it has been unbelievable and I just want to thank you so very much for believing in me and joining this community and I know that you are going to make so many incredible friends being on this channel and it really means a lot to me and I know that you said that you have very bad luck on giveaways and you've never won one and I really hope that you win this one because there are going to be so many people winning and there are still going to be so many other giveaways happening right after this one. I also am going to have a Generation Beauty swag bag giveaway that's going to happen because since Kurt and I both attended the event, we both received swag bags, so I'm going to be giving one away to you guys as well. So just think that, like, envision that you're getting a swag bag or an eyeshadow palette or whatever it is. Stop thinking that you're not getting one. Just think positively because I want you to win. And it's going to happen. I can feel it. You're going to win something. <laughs> so I really want you to get one because you feel like you just, you seem like such a doll and I just love it. You seem like the biggest sweetheart in the world. So this shout out goes to you and I love you already. So this video is going to be, I guess, battling out these two babies. They are very extreme different ends of the spectrum as far as cost wise goes. I know you guys have seen this baby floating around YouTube. This one's a little bit more new to the YouTube market, if you will. And I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit nasally. This is the allergies that have kicked back in. Since landing, I'm no longer sick. I am completely back in good health. So I have very sparingly used the Sicily Double Tensor Instant and Long Term Primer, and I mean sparingly. This is like my special event primer. This is like $190. It's expensive. But Nikki Tutorials said that she found a dupe, and that is the J1 Jelly Pack Dramatic Firming Skin with Improved Elasticity and Pore Smoothing. And I found this on Sephora. Uh, this has a lot of claims right in here, so I'm going to read you this, and I'm going to do half my face with my Sicily <laughs> in the spirit for you guys and have my face with this baby and put to the test one of my, or not put to the test, put to the use my go-to um, Estee Lauder foundation. I did pick up their newest version which I'll put to the test in a different video with my normal primer. I don't want to use a different foundation. That's not really fair to the primers. I want to put my tried and true that I wear all the time. This one I used at Gen Beauty and held up for like 10 hour days. It didn't break apart. It was freaking amazing. And Estee Lauder just recently released a double wear nude water fresh makeup with an SPF of because the one that I like is an SPF of 15 and has no flashback. It's awesome. So I'm going to save this one for maybe tomorrow's video and try this out. Just wanted to let you guys know. Though I don't know what the order of videos will be. I just realized that too. But I am going to use my normal foundation. So the J1 Jelly Pack says a, it is a true multitasking makeup a gripper that combines a morning mask... I did not know that. 
a lifting treatment and primer all in one. The unique jelly texture helps to quickly and effectively penetrate in the skin and deliver moisture for depleted skin while firming the skin upon gently patting. So remember, a lot of these ones do need that like patting and pushing in motion. You can't like pull and sweep the way like some other primers work. A lot of these ones you do need to press and pat into the skin and it really does make a world of difference. So do keep that in mind. Read the directions when you get primers. They are not all the same. It really, it makes or breaks primers. So this one does want you to gently pat, creating a smooth, flawless canvas for makeup. How to use. Dispense a, uh, a dime size amount onto fingertips and dent, oh my gosh. See, I told you guys I am struggling because my mind is just like, I'm in a whirlwind still. Gently sweep onto cleansed skin, which I have. Gently pat into skin for a complete skincare routine and mask. I'm really intrigued by this whole mask thing. I think that's pretty awesome. Experience in one product. A perfect one-step routine for the morning, but also can be layered with a night cream. All right, well, I am so intrigued by this now that I have fully read it. I just bought this to put to the test for you guys to see if it actually is a true dupe or not. Because I mean, at the end of the day, who wants to spend after taxes and everything, you know, $200 if you can get, pick up this baby from Sephora. And this is 30 milliliters, this is 50 milliliters. I did forget how much I bought for paid for this one. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone and let you guys know. Cause I did get this well before my trip and it has left my mind and it's not coming to me. So I'm gonna pull that up on my phone and I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we are going to get to applying it and see what it does. All right, the J1 Jelly Pack is $42. So that is a major difference in cost and you also get 20 extra milliliters. So it is a big, big difference. So I'm gonna put the J1 Jelly on my left side and the Sicily Paris on my right side. And it comes with a nice big pump, which is awesome. It's clear. And let's see how this baby works. Oh wow, that is a lot thicker than the Sicily Paris. All right, now I'm gonna put the Sicily Paris on the other side. See, this one has, it's still kind of clear, but a little bit milky clear. And this is like a moisturizer. And it smells so good. It smells like a spa. It just has that spa experience. And I would hope so at $200. All right, I noticed absolutely no difference in the sticky texture. It did go on way stickier, but oh, I got some on my lashes. Ah. But now that it's actually had a chance to soak into my skin, there is zero difference. 
I'm just going to quickly color correct and then I'm going to get to applying the foundation which I will show you on camera so we can see if the foundation applies any differently. Alright, taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for Face and Body SPF 15 in 1N3 Creamy Vanilla. That is such a mouthful. I'm going to put this all over. And then we can also see what it's like without having any primer on the neck. Because I never put primer on my neck anyway. But if J1 Jelly is like fantastic and actually gives a lifting and mask effect. And at that price point with that much product, I'd be willing to put it on my neck. <laughs> this is a Marc Jacobs number three brush. I kind of been noticing that I like going back and forth using this for larger areas like my neck and chest and then using a beauty blender for my face. I've just been going back and forth lately. So I dampen my beauty blender and here we go. Remember this is the J1 jelly side. What I am noticing is that it is more difficult to blend out on the J1 Jelly side compared to normal, which could definitely be a good thing. That might give it way more staying pow power. Not that this particular foundation needs it. This one holds up extremely well during all elements. I've never had this one break apart on me. But other foundations may need that little extra help. So I am noticing that and I think that's a good thing. I can say that I'm not noticing any difference at all in the final result of the foundation. To me, they both look completely equal in the finishing touch, the finishing look. I just had a different way of how it blended out. And like I said, it felt differently with how the actual primer felt, but then the end result of once it was sunk into the skin felt exactly the same. When it was blending out the foundation, it felt differently, but now once the foundation is on, it looks identical. So I'm going to just conceal and powder off camera. I'm going to try my hardest to remember to do a check-in. If I don't remember to do a check-in, I will leave it in the description bar down below if I noticed any difference at all. It may be tricky with this foundation in particular just because I really have, this foundation is the bomb. Like it just never breaks up. I might have to just try it out I, with multiple foundations. I don't even know. I'm going to keep using this one continuously like with every tutorial that I do and just keep testing it and testing it and testing it and see if anything funny happens, anything different, if I start noticing results. Because if it says that it's also a mask, then there should be long-term benefits as well. Masks any kind of product that has a mask, you don't generally notice any kind of overnight results or instantaneous results. Those generally take a little bit longer to achieve. So I will use this every single time that I do my makeup and I will keep posts in the description bar down below if I notice anything different happening with my skin. I don't notice anything that's firming about it right now. I didn't notice any tightening. I don't feel any tightening, nothing like that. Uh, 
I would say that it probably is a dupe for the Sisley right now as it stands, but I'm not in a position to really say that right now. I don't think it is a fair assessment, if you will, to just say, yes, this is definitely a dupe. I do want to wear it because I've given this baby numerous shots and it really truly is a fantastic product. It just is extremely pricely, but that just is what happens when you buy Sisley, you know? So, like I said, I will keep using this every single day. I'm going to keep posts. I'm going to try to do a check-in at the end of the evening. And if I don't, I will still keep a post down below. And let's hope that this one really truly is just an amazing primer because for 42 bucks at 50 milliliters and very easily accessible from Sephora, having mask, elasticity, pore smoothing, if it really truly has all of these amazing benefits, I think that it could be a win. So I I will keep you guys posted. I'm excited about this product and we will go from there. So that does it for this little mini video. I hope that so far this is helpful and so far this is exciting you guys as much as it is exciting me. And in the meantime, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.